What's up YouTube, Swiss Milk here. So you might have seen this effect in some of my videos. I'm gonna show you how in this tutorial, so stay tuned. The first item you will need is the actual pulse sensor, which was a successful Kickstarter. You can get it from SparkFun or from Amazon, but be careful because there's a few knockoffs out there that aren't as good. Now it is a bit pricey for what it is, as some people mentioned in the comments, but it's better than making it yourself. Then you will need the Arduino Uno as your microcontroller board to hook into the pulse sensor. It's an open source platform and there's many versions of it. You can also find one on SparkFun. The final item is a USB cable to connect everything to your computer for processing. The pulse sensor itself has a fairly simple PCB with one side of exposed circuits and one side with the sensor. It also includes a clip to hold on to your finger or in my case my earlobe. The pulse sensor has three outputs or rather three cables, two of which are following ground and one of them is for output. When you get the pulse sensor, this backside will be completely exposed. It's recommended that you take some hot glue, as I did, and cover up all the exposed circuits. It should include some vinyl stickers to put over the top to protect it. When you operate the pulse sensor, you're going to want to have it directly onto your skin or your earlobe. This is the Arduino Uno. We're going to be primarily interested in the ground plugs, the 5 volt, and the A0. To connect the pulse sensor to the Arduino Uno, you're going to want to put the purple data cable into the A0 slot, the black ground cable into the ground slot, and the red voltage pin into the 5 volt. You can operate this device at 5 volts or 3.3 volts. To power on the pulse sensor, you simply need to power on the Arduino by plugging in your USB cable, and it's ready to go. Okay, now for the fun part. So I have everything connected here, and the next thing that you'll need to do is to load up your Arduino program. If you don't already have it, go download it from their website. Next, with the software that Pulse Sensor provides, you're going to want to install it onto the Arduino. To do this, simply have it connected, and then you'll want to upload the software to the Arduino. Now, sometimes this can be a little bit funky, and it won't show that it's actually finished uploading, so you'll have to reset the window, like I'll show you in just a second. I think it should be done by now. Yeah, so you see, as soon as I clicked off the window, it says done uploading. I'll try to show you this. All right, so the, there's two lights. One's blinking, and one's not. I'm gonna put my finger on the sensor now. And it's starting to collect heart data. Now we're gonna take this data and we're gonna put it into processing so we can channel it through OBS or whatever else you wanna use. So in order to do that, you're gonna to wanna to download the processing program, which I'll have a link in the comments. And then once you have it open, this is original version, which is unmodified. Now there's only one thing that you need to, that you absolutely need to change, and that is down here in the Go Find Arduino, there's gonna be this thing called serial.list and it'll have a nine here. Now, depending on what your COM port is, and we can check that by going into Device Manager, that's the COM port that your Arduino is connected to. So mine is COM3. So if I change this to zero, it should work. You only get this error when you play, but if you get this error, try changing this to zero. If that doesn't work, feel free to let me know in the comments and I'll help you walk through it. So we're gonna change that to zero. Go ahead and save this and then I'm going to run this. Ah, okay, so this is their default window that's gonna pop up here. It'll look different than what I have because I've modded mine, but I'm gonna put my finger on here. So it looks like an error popped up down here, but I'm gonna try one more time with my finger already on it. There we go. All right, so we have data coming in. It looks a little choppy, and you can see that's getting cut off at the top, which means that the bounds haven't really corrected yet. Um, this program is pretty good, but it's not amazing. There's a lot of things that you can change in the settings to help you with this. If you're like me, this isn't gonna be good for streaming or for much of anything else, just something fun to look at. Now you could overlay this directly, but I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and change it into something like mine. All right, so let's go over the changes I made. I changed the background color to pure white from eggshell, but I kept the name the same. I also added an additional color, which I use for most of my videos. I just called it Swiss. I also modified the window size to be 1920 by 100. I commented out the scroll bar because I wouldn't need it. This dictates where the windows will be shown within the stage window. I modified the scaled input so it would fit in the windows. I also changed the location of the BPM display and the BPM number output. Here's where I changed the stroke color. You can also change the line thickness if you want. In my code I completely removed the beating heart effect. You might notice once again that my code does not contain the scroll bar effects. This defines both the position and the text size of BPM. So now let's look at both and look at which one appears better. I'm going to move up the current window in OBS so that you can see all of it. The current window is displaying in OBS. Though it's not scaled properly, you can see that this wouldn't be a suitable solution for Twitch streaming. Now let's run my code. 
In my code, you can see that down here clearly displayed is the heart rate, and over here is the long-term window. I like this solution for right now, but I might modify it in the future. All right, well, that does it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the comments below. If you like that video, hit that like button or subscribe if you want to make me feel really good. Uh, if you have any friends that want to see this video or want to implement it into their Twitch, just refer them back to this video. And if they have any questions, just let them know to put them in the comments. I always check there to help you guys out. This has been Swiss Milk with the tutorial. See you guys later.